Well, I knew from a young age that I wanted to be an artist. My mom was a painter, and my father was a painter, and my grandmother was a painter. I had an operation, that's just a simple thing when I was a child. I remember um, being on the gurney and being wheeled down the hallway and having somebody, some other woman, say, oh, you have such long fingers, you know, are you a, a pianist? And I said, no, I'm an artist. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, my name is Lorna Nickel, and I am, for the most part, a painter. My arts education has been sort of lifelong learning. When I was in high school, I had the opportunity to have just a great art program and a super, super teacher, Mrs. Rice. She was great. She helped show me that art could be like a savior for me and also just like a comfort through tough times. Sometimes I just have this little faint idea in my head of a project that I think would be interesting and uh, you know it just kind of grows from there. So now another idea I'm running with is memory and, and the persistence of memory or the loss of memory. So that's really fascinating to me right now and I'm trying to um, use that as sort of a inspiration, I guess, for different types of works. I guess kind of like being a novelist, you know, in some cases where you write a novel about certain characters and the storyline and then your next novel isn't going to be the same thing. Well, I think it's a really difficult time for art right now. Uh, you know, the economy has a lot of people struggling, and it, and it really has artists struggling. And I think that a lot of people see artwork right now as something extra. So for me, it's really important that my work shows the artist's hand and shows that, that what art really is, is it's ideas. You're, you're creating these ideas and you're presenting different ideas to the world and that's that's the value in art that saying of like be in the moment a lot of people these days forget about that and it's not it's not about be in the moment for them it's like oh i'm at the park but uh, what are my friends doing i guess i'll just hop on my cell phone or start texting and you're not in that moment you're not like appreciating what you have and the environment that's around you and I think that's really important because that's that's the juicy part of life that's you know what's important